Genetics play a role in everything. But true genetic diseases occur in only about one in 5,000 people. But you have tendencies in your family to say get breast cancer or heart disease. But these are tendencies that would never be expressed if you didn't stress the body with things like tobacco and alcohol and uh, poisonous foods like chickens and fishes and cows and pigs and cheese and yogurt. These are poisons and, we, and, and vegetable oil like corn oil and olive oil and safflower oil and whatever health food oil you folks are consuming out there. If you didn't stress your system with these poisons, you would never see the quote, family tendencies you have. You know, it was just, you'd never see them. So you said autoimmune disease, autoimmune disease, that's where the body attacks itself. Well, why would the body attack itself? Do you think the body's stupid? You know, if you are a religious person or have any theologic or physiologic uh, type of thinking going on in your brain, do you think your creator made this horrible mistake and crushed your body to attack itself? No, these autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, scleroderma, uh, vitiligo, vertigo, or, no, not vitiligo, uh, all sort of colitis, Crohn's disease. I, mean, I could go on for a long, a long, long list. Where the body attacks itself, these are due to many things. Uh, one thing could be a virus. But I don't think it happens too often, but it does sometimes. The vir a virus is a foreign substance that goes into the body, a foreign organism. Well, the foreign organism or substance that goes into the body that causes most autoimmune diseases is animal protein, uh, particularly dairy, but pork and beef and so on have been shown to cause immune reactions where the body makes antibodies and attacks the brain and gives you multiple sclerosis and attacks your arteries and accelerates atherosclerosis and attacks your joints and gives you lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. No, these are not uh, genetic diseases. These are autoimmune diseases mostly caused by the food. And the nice thing is severe inflammatory arthritis like psoriatic and rheumatoid arthritis and how the people that I take care of, nearly all of them, are dramatically improved or cured. Espero que hayas disfrutado otro video de Planta de Revolution.com. Si fue así, dale me gusta, déjame un comentario. No olvides suscribirte al canal y hacer clic en la campanita para recibir notificaciones y así saber cuándo subo un video. Y recuerda, lo aquí presentado no es una opinión, es ciencia.